Hi, this is Anna Walensky. I'm going to be demoing a watercolor style butterfly using the Global Color Punch palette and our bolt brushes. This is the Global Color Punch palette. I'm going to be using different colors to create one butterfly out of here. First, I'm going to start with a bolt brush. This is a firm three quarter inch. And I'm going to just load a little bit of white to get going just to get a general shape of a butterfly that then I'm going to fill in. So I'm just going to go out, make some strokes here, that way, and then start at the crack of the eye, come down, make some strokes here, that way. And then I'm going to do it on the other side. Since it's very abstract to do this watercolor style, it's good to have just a little bit of a shape so that you don't get totally lost while you're doing these wild strokes. All right, now from the Color Punch palette, I'm going to start with a blue gradient that has a metallic blue in there. And load it up. And make sure to load up that pearl blue on the end really good. All right. Now I'm going to do both sides at the same time. So I'm going to start on this side just with the blue. And I'm going to do some random little shapes, maybe two blue shapes on each side of the butterfly, top and bottom. And they're on the outer edge mostly, uh, so they give a, an edge to the butterfly. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Since this is sort of abstract, they don't have to match each other perfectly, so you don't have to worry too much making them identical. All right, now I'm going to grab another contrasting cape to go with this blue gradient. Uh, I am going to use this one. I'm going to use the mini version of New Delhi, which is a large global rainbow cake on a small side. So I'm just going to fill in some gaps now that I left with this cake. And you can flip it so that the pink is on the outside edge, or you can put the pink on the inside edge. And I'm just doing really random marks with the rainbow cake. I'm going to fill in a little bit over here above the eyebrow. And you don't want to go too crazy with each color because you want to leave some space for more rainbow combinations. But even if you just do two, you're going to get a pretty high contrast effect. All right, next, I'm going to use this cutie. It's got a metallic blue on the edge, and then it's pink, yellow, white. All right, now I'm going to find a little spot. I'm going to put the white close to the eye, and I'm going to just pop in some color. There, 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 and I'm just pressing down there, and then I've got a little bit more space, so I'm just going to pick one more cake, and it's going to be a part of the peacock cake. I'm going to get some purple, blue, and green from our peacock cake. I'm going to put that above the eye. Little purple. Little purple. And if you want it to look really watercolory, you can apply it even thinner so that the cake isn't totally opaque. And then you get a stronger kind of transparent watercolor effect. Um, and if you want to make it even more watercolor, you can also splash little daubs and globs. I'm just going to add some tiny bit of white. I left a, quite a bit of white showing already from my outline, so I don't have to go too crazy. But I'm just going to randomly outline some edges. Just to edge it a little bit so it has a little bit more definition. And you can put some dots. 
All right, and we'll put a little bit on this side. Squiggle, squiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot. And, oh, we need a body for this butterfly. So I'm gonna give him a little body too. Oh, I put a little couple dots there. Um, a fast way to make eye spots on a butterfly is just to use like a petal brush. So it makes a round print, load it up with one color, and then load it up with a second color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this yellow white on one side. This is the Bolt Blooming brush. And I'm gonna load some of the purple and pink on the other side. So I have white with purpley pink outline. Then I could go right into this blue spot and just press some polka dots. And if you flip it over, you can put the pink on both edges. All right, and then, oh, I gotta do a quick body. And then I will be all set. Oh, got a little blue and a little purple and white. Just a little, couple little dots. And then I'll use our liner brush. This is the number two liner from Bolt. And we'll put some intense. All right, there you go. Watercolor butterfly. I hope you liked it and have a great day.